Oh my god. Vector and Chester V are the same person? Sorry, uh, sorry about that, but I have stumbled onto a huge conspiracy, all right? Vector Perkins and Chester V are the same person. Let me show you the evidence. First of all, isn't Chester V kind of a, a weird name? Doesn't that sound a little made up? It should. Chester is just one letter away from Vester. And what does Chester V always wear? A vest. Vester V. The V. The V as his last name could just be swapped with the C and then it would be Vester C. So that's why it kind of sounds made up. No one would name their child Chester V. And especially them to grow up wearing a vest. It just sounds too coincidental. And that's when you realize that the V for his last name stands for Vector. Now, throughout the entire Despicable Me 1 movie, Vector is trying to basically replace Gru from the advice of Vector's father. Now, he fails, ultimately, and ends up on the moon with his spacesuit, surrounded by only one other thing to keep him company. A little minion. A shitty minion. No one likes minions. But it just might be Vector's way out of the moon. Now, of course, he needs to escape. Right? His dad, who owns the Bank of Evil, is not going to just quit looking for his son. His only son, as far as we know. No, he's going to go looking, but he doesn't need to. Because Vector takes the minion. He climbs inside of the minion's mouth, right? And then Vector is inside the minion. And since the minions are basically indestructible, he goes down, back to Earth, into the atmosphere, like that goddamn Saturn rocket or something, and... He's inside the minion, he crawls out of the minion, he's alive, he's safe, and he's back on Earth. Does he take revenge on Gru? No, because he knows how well that worked out last time, so he does not take revenge. But, he fakes his own death, because he's not actually dead. He assumes a new identity, but with his still favorite color being orange, which is why Chester V wears an orange vest, right? Now, the real clinching point that made me figure this out was... Science friends, you know I have devoted my life to inventing the future, but every dream has a beginning. I still remember my first invention, the humble food bar. Kids, I actually have a son of my own. Ugh, you look so weird. Oh, don't listen to him. Yes, they have a photo of each other when they were young. Now, that's not exactly the best evidence, but it's not, because they look different in the photos. Young Vector has black hair, and young Chester has ginger. And I was about to scrap the theory there. They have different hair colors, not even from the same animation studio, so why should I continue? But then I remembered, that's exactly what Sony Pictures and Illumination wants me to think! Let's have, uh, Eric. Thank you, Mr. Garrison. My speech is entitled, Ginger Kids, Children with Red Hair, Light Skin, and Freckles. We've all seen them, on the playground, at the store, walking on the streets. They creep us out and make us feel sick to our stomachs. I'm talking, of course, about ginger kids. Oh, sick! Gross! Ginger kids.
kids are born with a disease which causes very light skin, red hair, and freckles. Ah, nasty, yuck! This disease is called gingivitis, and it occurs because ginger kids have no souls. What? Kids who have gingivitis cannot be cured. Ah, oh, sick! Gross! Yuck! Because their skin is so light, ginger kids must avoid the sun, not unlike vampires. No smart person can be a ginger. It's fact. Cartman just said so. So are you going to believe the government, or are you going to believe Cartman? That's what I fucking thought. Anyway, that means no smart person can be ginger. That means Chester is either dumb as hell. That's pretty, uh, that's a, that's a pretty, uh, movie-changing element I discovered. So that's, uh, that's the first option. Or, he's lying. He's, and he was wearing a wig. But now that he has white hair, his secret does not need to be, uh, covered up anymore. He can just... Say, oh, my, my hair was ginger, but now it's white. And he doesn't have to hide it and doesn't have to wear a wig anymore. That's why he shaved his head, even though he wasn't that old in the TV show. You know, the scientific wonder world blah, 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 of science. He wasn't that old, but he still shaved his head. He didn't have cancer or anything. So, he shaved his head because he didn't want to have a wig. He just wanted to have a beard wig, a beard dye, and not uh, a, a head wig. Because that would be too uh, a waste of money. Because buying a ginger wig, come on. So he shaved his head, got a ginger goatee, and now his goatee is white, so he can just keep the lie going, the lie that he was Vector. The best way to hide your identity after you fake your death is to change your color or, like, get some plastic surgery or something. And that's exactly what Chester did. He's smart, and that's why he sort of shaped his head into his live core light bulb entirely that his body and head are literally the shape of his logo and motif for LiveCore. Plastic surgery to make his face the light bulb. How much more evidence do you need? Let's say just for a minute that you're not convinced yet, which you should be. Okay, here's one more piece of evidence. Monkey. You see, Vector has a pet shark. It means he likes pets. Chester V has a orangutan monkey, right? They both like pets. Pets that aren't usual cats or like a, a gerbil or something. He likes weird exotic pets that you wouldn't usually have great white shark orangutan you wouldn't usually see that now that is not the final piece of evidence it's just the cartilage to this big juicy bone Pyrodon! oh yes fires live piranhas ever seen one before no you haven't i invented what did vector just say ever seen one before no you haven't i invented invented he invented the piranha gun. Invented is a classic word that Chester V uses. Now, you might be thinking, just because they use the same word doesn't mean they're the same person. But did you hear what you just said? Same word, same person, same twice. That's another connection. <laughs> they both wear glasses. <laughs> You might think this is tiny. You might think this is insignificant, but you'd be dead wrong. Yes, they both wear glasses. They both wear glasses. But what is under those glasses? What color are their eyes? Chester V has green eyes. And Victor Perkins, aka Vector, has... Fuck! There's only one way to solve this grievous error in my... Two week long video project that I've been working on. There's only one way to solve this facial error in my theory. I think they're brown. Maybe. 
Chester and Vector have different eye colors. That's one bad thing. If we can find another good thing to counteract them, then that would be good. Uh, a negative for a positive, they even out. Right? So if I can find one more connection between them, my theory is virtually proven. Right? Please. Maybe we can look back at the picture and there'll be another detail. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They have the same glasses! The glasses that we connected the dots of so much earlier have actually ended up helping us. Yes, let's go. My theory, my goddamn hypothesis is proven fact now. I am going to go celebrate. I'll see you next time. Actually, I'm going to go to bed because I haven't slept in two weeks.